What's up? It's your brother, your cousin, your uncle, your nephew, your friend. But I can't be your son, it's your kinfolk Will Henry with God's Will Fitness. And I got my favorite sweatshirt on today, The Ingredients. As you know, blood, sweat, and tears. You know, we talked about the mission, we talked about the purpose, we talked about the meaning behind it before. So I believe in the ingredients. I believe you need to have the mixture of all of these three things working in harmony to have success, right? That gives you the full output of effort that you need to have a successful journey, right? And I also wanna put out a couple of other items out for y'all. Sarabi Isle, right? The exercise bands. So anybody trying to exercise, doing leg work, doing core work, these bands will be efficient in those exercises and help you get better. Sarabi Isle waist wraps, okay? As you can see, you can zip it up. All right, and then you can wrap it around. All right, and this will help you lose water weight around your stomach right this will help you with your posture and this will just help you look good when you're in the gym so you won't be subconscious of yourself right or your stomach sticking out and don't get worried about the sizes of these wraps these the sizes of these wraps are based on the inches around your waist so don't get self-conscious about the sizes of these wraps okay a lot of women that i train with or that we sell the wraps to they get worried about the sizes and they think that defines them but it's really just the size of the waist and that's why they are the size of the wraps correct so i'm glad i can introduce to y'all some new products i'm glad y'all still rocking with me i'm glad y'all still listening to me giving me y'all here uh because i feel like i deserve it i feel like Someone needs to hear what I got to say. Someone needs the inspiration. Somebody needs the motivation. And really, that's the only reason I do it. Uh, it and it keeps me going as well. Cause sometimes when I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to myself. And as you know, we're nearing the end of the year, right? It's the beginning of December. It's about to be the new year, right? New year, new me, the new year's resolutioners, right? We starting to get to that time of year. And I just want to talk with the New Year's resolutioners that might try to get ready for 2020 and for the people that tried to get ready for 2019 that might have had failure, that might have got distracted, that might have got in their own way. And I just want to have a chat with y'all. I just want to have a conversation with y'all because this is a deadly cycle, right? And I mean deadly, it kills your motivation. It kills your inspiration. It kills your potential and whatever results that you was able to garner at the beginning of the year whatever distractions whatever got in your way to make you lose focus it killed it now it's dead now you gotta find a way to resuscitate it to bring it back to life and some people don't know how to do it some people don't have the wherewithal to concentrate to stay focused within these times right you gotta have tunnel vision you gotta have clarity you gotta have the 2020 know exactly what you want to do and follow through with that plan right follow through with whatever goals you set up for yourself whatever results that you wanted to get at the beginning of the year as long as they're realistic understand that it's possible of happening but it's all about your focus it's all about your integrity your character whatever you're willing to keep your word on whatever you're willing to follow through with and if you put accountability upon yourself then it's all on you it's your responsibility to finish through the finish line right so just stay focused there's other people telling us what we can't do there's events it's occasions that's coming up it's the holiday season that's kind of getting us off uh and we have to remain focused just understand that event usually lasts for a day maybe that occasion is just for a few hours maybe that holiday thanksgiving maybe that holiday christmas is just for one day so let it stop at one day don't let it linger on into the weeks don't let it linger on for the rest of the month and now you done gained 15 pounds now you done lost your strength now you're not in condition you're out of breath every time you work out and you wonder what happened but you know what you did and you have to be willing to 
accept that accountability, right? And another thing is just being prepared. I know it sounds redundant. I know I say this all the time, but when you're prepared, you make better judgments, right? Your actions are more precise. Everything that you do is more calculated and we need to be calculated. We need to have some mathematician going on in our mind. We need some statistics to follow. We gotta use the numbers. We gotta be aware of our behavior patterns. We gotta be aware of our conduct. Right, we know if we put ourselves in this position, we know what we're going to do, right? So if you're prepared, if you're mentally ready to come across that opposition that's going to antagonize your goals, that's going to try to deter you from reaching your goals, then you you gotta be prepared. If you're going to war, you know you need a spear. If you're going to a gunfight, you know you need a rifle, right? If you're going to a football game, you know you need your pads on. So why would you think it's any different with nutrition? Why would you think it's any different with exercise? Why would you think it's any different with that mental warfare that's going on with inside your mind? You gotta be prepared. You gotta know their opposition. You gotta game plan. You gotta strategize. You gotta know what awaits you on the other side. And last but not least, we gotta quit playing the victim. Look, I've fallen and I can't get up. But you was the one responsible for why you fell down, right? You was the one that made that action, right? You was the one that created that habit. You were the one that had those thoughts and you acted upon them. No one made you think this way. No one made you do what you did. It was your response. It was your reaction to whatever someone said, someone did, or whatever was going on. It could have been an object. It could be a thing. It could be a person. But don't try to put the blame solely on that. You got to take some culpability within it. And a lot of people are trying to deflect the blame upon others. Deflect the blame on everything and everyone else but their selves and we never get the bigger picture right we never get to look within we never really get to look in the mirror and point the finger at that person because we're always looking over our shoulders we always looking at someone else to put the blame on it's a cycle that we keep going into it's so repetitive it's so annoying it's so deadly it's so agonizing so painful but yet we continue to go in the same rhythm in the same pattern in the same circle and nothing changes and we won't change but we're not willing to look within we want to put the blame on everything external we want to put the blame on everything on the outside right but we don't want to go inside into the house of horrors right into the house of mayhem where things aren't cleaned up, where you haven't picked up your mess. Into the bedroom, right? Where that bed isn't made. Into the closet, where skeletons lay. You're not willing to go to those places, to those dark places, and find some cleanliness, right? And find something clear to help you understand what you're going through is because you haven't fixed what's inside yet. And until you can be honest, until you can understand the situation exists all because of you, then you'll be able to move forward, right? You gotta control what you can control and once you control what you can control and everything external, everything on the outside exists and does what it does, but you have to be able to react Right, you have to be able to respond to counter those things, and so you got to take responsibility for yourself. So, I just want y'all to quit going through that cycle. Right, I'm a fitness professional, I'm a personal trainer. The beginning of the year is the boom in business, right? It's a big time of year because everyone makes that commitment, everyone makes that effort at the beginning of the year, but no one sticks with it throughout the rest of the year. And that's what's so disheartening. That's what's so frustrating as a professional, as somebody that work with people every day, all day, they want you to guarantee 
such and such amount of results, but they're not willing to put in the work. They're not willing to put in the effort for themselves. And you know, I can only do what you allow me to do, what your effort, you know, allows me to do. You have to take responsibility because this is God's will. Fitness. Oh,